Fulani headers, farmers, both Christians and Muslims resident in Kajuru local government area of Kaduna state have skewed violence. Crisis helps to promote peaceful coexistence and mutual understanding with one another in the area. They made the resolve at intra-religious, ethnic, cultural, trust-building engagement in Kasuan Magani organized by Interfaith Mediation Center Community Initiatives to promote peace, CIPP, to foster unity in conflicting communities. The religious leaders explained that humanity comes before religion. United us is more than what divided us. So that is why he teach us how to live in peace with one another. So any Muslim that is fighting Christian, honestly speaking, he don't know what Islam teach him. Because Islam doesn't teach how to uh, violate your, your partners in religion, in peace with one another without any hindrance. We are all equal. Peace is not something that you just get in the goal of platter. It's something you work for it, it's something that you struggle for it, it's something that has to involve your physical, emotional, and reconciliation. Once, if you cannot reconcile with one another, then there will be no peace. There's a dichotomy in the way people live. Settlers differ. Muslims sit on their own corner and Christians on their own side, and which is not going well for, with us here. That and I say, if you, want to be, if you want to succeed in life, then we must work hard to see the benefit of living together as human beings and to love one another as how God created us. Really just keep and meet human beings. Also, member representing Kajiru constituency in Cardinal State House of Assembly, Honorable Usman Stingo, urged residents to imbibe peaceful coexistence, saying, no society develops in an atmosphere of rancor. Both parties, farmers, headers, have resolved to forgive each other. So from henceforth, there will no longer be a past wounds or unforgiveness bringing crisis anymore. And then Christians, Muslims have decided to also uh, forgive one another and to continue to live in peace from now, having to understand where their issues lie. And so having done all that together, they are here now to tell their entire communities that this is what they have accepted to do. And this is exactly how they will now continue to live in peace beginning from now, henceforth. So we pray that it be sustained for them as they have also bring out committees that will be responsible for addressing any issue on a quick intervention basis so as to, pro to, to, to promote peaceful coexistence among them and to de-escalate anything like fake uh, rumors and all that that could always trigger into crisis for them. There's no society, no community can ever develop in an atmosphere of rancor, disunity and uh, insecurity. So I just call on the people to imbibe the spirit of unity to ensure that we have a peaceful community. Call on the people of Kajuru to key into peaceful coexistence and to ensure that we protect one another and lead one another to success. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.